Welcome to day 27. You have made it to our two grow days in a row yet again and made it to the end of week number four. Congratulations. If today is your check-in day, make sure you record your weight and get your progress pictures first thing in the morning upon waking in the same or at least similar light as to what you have been capturing them previously. Since I am filming this trainer a day ahead to give me time to edit and put everything out in time, I will be showing my updates and progress in tomorrow's video. So for today's video, I'm going to answer the question one of you asked, and that is, should you do your cardio before, after, or separate from your workout? Now for this 12-week blueprint to muscle, we do include some moderate cardio, just because your heart is very important. After all, that's the reason you're alive, your heart is beating. So it is important to take care of it. Doing some cardio also helps your body assimilate, digest, and use the amount of calories and the nutrients that you're consuming for this trainer much more efficiently. So we're not doing a whole lot of cardio on this, but shooting for at least 30 minutes, three days a week, preferably on those off days getting in that 30 minutes of mild to moderate activity. Now, if you are cutting or you're on a plan that requires more cardio, here are my thoughts and my experience, both for me and my clients, as far as when to schedule your cardio in the day. Now, as far as calories burned, fat loss, and all of that, I will say science has shown it doesn't really matter what time of day you do your cardio. However, these are my thoughts on when I personally feel it is most optimal. So in order of best to worst, my ideal time and recommendation would be to do your cardio separate from the workout. Now I do like to do a five to 10 minute easy walk warm up on the treadmill before I get in the weights, just to get the blood flowing, get everything loosened up and get myself focused. However, I don't count this towards cardio. My preferred time of cardio is in the morning, either fasted or a few minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes after breakfast to allow that to digest if you have the time. This isn't because fasted cardio is that much more magical or effective. It just gets it out of the way early in the day, allows you to be productive and focus on something easy to start your day. And this way you keep it separate from the training so all your focus and intensity can be on the weights and then recovery after during your workout. Now, if you can't do your cardio separate from the weights, the next best time to do it would be after the weights. If you do have to do it this way, I would bring a post-workout shake or meal with you so that you can have that directly after your cardio is finished rather than having to wait for a long drive home and prepare your meal there. Or you can do it if it's a light shake before your cardio. So the reason it's more optimal to do it after the workout than before is science has shown that doing your cardio beforehand, since you are wearing yourself down, it does make you weaker and have less endurance during the actual weight training. If your goal is bodybuilding and building muscle in the off season or maintaining muscle during a cut, then obviously this is not ideal. You want as much strength and focus as possible for the weights. Which leads into the next one. If you do need to do a little bit more cardio to warm up beforehand and you feel that really helps you focus, then you can split it 50-50 and do half of your cardio before the workout and half of the cardio after the workout. If you're doing any sort of higher intensity cardio, I would definitely save that for after the workout. And that brings us to the last option, and in my opinion, the least optimal, which would be doing the cardio before the weight training. Now, if cardio is your main focus, or muscle building and strength isn't necessarily a main goal, or if you personally have found that this is the way it works best for you, go for it. I'm not saying this is a terrible idea. However, you are tiring yourself out before the weights by doing all of your cardio ahead of time, and you are burning glycogen during the cardio session if you do it before the workout which is what you need to get ideal muscle contractions and strength during the workout. So if at all possible, I would avoid doing the majority of your cardio before the workout. So to recap, best case scenario, cardio separate from the weights. Second best, cardio after the weights. Third, 
break it up 50-50 if you need a little bit more of a warm up. And last, I would avoid this unless your focus is cardio, doing it before the weights. I hope that answers your question. If you have any more questions on the subject or you would like to see your question answered in a future video, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. In the meantime, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your grow day and I will see you with my check-in updates in tomorrow's video.